Good morning, everybody. Michael the Maven. Today, I'm going to address the question I've been getting about the sensor in the Canon 90D as well as the M6 Mark II. I have tested both of them for dynamic range, and I have some really good news for everybody who's interested in this video, is that Canon's sensor technology has taken a huge leap forward. A little bit about the test that I do, I use something called a Stouffer wedge, which is a bunch of little ND filters side by side. It measures about 13.7 stops of dynamic range. I fire a flash through it and I can measure at what point it becomes difficult to differentiate between two different shades. When I compare the 90D and the M6 Mark II to recent APS-C Canon sensors, such as the 80D or the 7D Mark II, I can even conservatively say that it is at least one full stop of dynamic range better. But when we start looking at some of the other artifacts, for example, Canon has a history of having these, these pattern horizontal lines in their sensors. It is really clean, it is really, really good. So I can definitely say something has changed, but it's important to note that this is happening at 32.5 megapixels Whereas in the 80D we're seeing 24, in the 7D Mark II we're seeing 20. So not only is the dynamic range greater, but it's doing it at far higher resolution. Now I know many of you are going to be asking me how it compares to other sensors like the Sony 24 megapixel. And the interesting thought on this is that Canon for a long time has been known to recycle its sensors from model to model. We saw it kind of like in the 5D Mark IV to the EOS R. We've seen it in the 6D into the Canon RP. So there's some of this sharing of sensor technology between camera models. The interesting thing about this is Sony has been doing this for a while now, and I believe the 90D and the M6 Mark II sensors are really bringing the fight to it. Sony's, Sony's gonna wanna rethink its APS-C game. When I compare it to the X-T3, I think the X-T3 at the lower ISOs just looks a little teeny bit better. Something that was really impressive for me was how well it compared to even full frame sensors. The Canon 5D Mark IV, I believe, has an advantage, but in terms of how good it looks for an APS-C sensor, if we see this technology in future Canon cameras, it is going to be an amazing sensor. That's all speculation, but make no doubt about it, Canon's new 32.5 megapixel sensor in terms of dynamic range is a home run winner. Something to keep in mind is that YouTube does compress the footage, so you're probably going to get a better view of these charts on my blog. Just go over and take a look. Let me know in the comments below which camera you want me to put the 90D against in the upcoming Epic Shootout. Take a look at my Facebook group. In any event, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.